Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Boy, and welcome back to Santa Girls fam, we're back. Now let's get right back into it with the waifu Rain and duty, let us go. I guess this is my best opportunity to make amends with Rain. Maybe she'll come to get on my good side after I work with her throughout the day. I'll just have to wait and see. I furtively walk over to Rain's location as more customers start trickling in from the front. Alrighty, let us go. There she is. Despite her bad girl attitude towards me, looks like she's trying to put her best face forward. Rain is upbeat and buoyant towards the customers as required of her job. She's doing her best to catch the attention of each family, couple, or individual that steps in. Hello, welcome to the Christmas Village. Welcome, welcome. Please have a wonderful holiday shopping experience. Don't forget to try one of our delicious cookies as you shop. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. The more that I watch her from afar, the more that I realize she might have some good in her. Indeed! Initially, I thought she would find her role to be too petty. <laughs> Initially, I thought she would find her role to be too petty to be taken seriously, but it seems that she really is trying to invite customers in. Hmm, invite the customers in. She's even tried to advertise herself as a genuine Santa girl. Her red hair does accentuate the bright colors of her outfit, after all. Hmm. I decided to walk up to her. Say, Rain, you really can not laugh up people's spirits. Good job. But as I utter these words, Rain abruptly <laughs> turns to me as her face darkens into a feisty mood. Her attitude sure changed quickly! So much for wishing that she would act all nice around me! What's that supposed to mean? I can't just see that I'm working! You're like ruining my mojo! You don't have to stand right next to me, you know? I'm only observing and seeing how you do things as a greeter! <laughs> Why don't you go stalk and observe someone else? I can't bear to think about how your creepy eyes are still crawling all over me! <laughs> that was just a misunderstanding! A mistake, I, I mean! It's not going to happen again, and I'm sorry that it ever occurred. Instead of putting up with me, she continues to wave and greet the customers as if nothing is coming between us. <laughs> then she returns to confront me out of frustration. Whatever! If you feel the need to stay and watch, just go! Do your job somewhere else far from me! Like some personal space would be nice. Okay, okay, I'll just step over to the side and keep my distance. Rain smiles enchantingly as more, at more customers while maintaining the same cold attitude towards me. Good, let's keep it that way. <laughs> Awkwardly scratch the back of my neck and move over to lean against the wall. <laughs> Rejected. Sigh. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even think there's a way to get to know her before. <laughs> Better if she's like this. <laughs> I've always tried to avoid people like her, but I have no choice in this scenario. I'll just keep tabs on her, I guess. <laughs> For the remainder of the morning, I, I continue to stand on the sidelines, seeing Rain greet and, and feel uh, and feel the minor questions from shoppers left and right. I wonder if she ever gets tired of all the weird glances that those guys have been throwing at her. I feel like if it weren't for her job's sake, she'd scare them off with how vicious she can be. <laughs> As lunchtime rolls around, the cascade of shoppers that dominated the morning rush have trickled to a minimum. No longer the peak time for greetings, rain, for greeting, Rain stretches herself and approaches me. After standing around for at least an hour and a half, her expression has slightly worn down, her arms folded across her chest. Alright, now we can get her! <laughs> it was freaking ridiculous that some of those pricks couldn't even stop staring! Like, I don't want to, I don't even want to get into it. I, just, I could really just use some grub right now. Sure, lunch sounds like a good idea. There are not many people coming in right now, anyway. Her face slightly brightens up. We're doing it! Ah, oh, thank God. I never thought you would deny my opportunity for a break and say an hour isn't long enough. No, you have to make it rain more people. <laughs> no, you have to make it rain more people or something dumb like that. Please, I'm not some heartless person. Who would even think that for a second? That's just bad management. Uh, heartless. I, we're gonna wear my key no heart shirt, but I said this one. Heart. Okay, sorry. She rolls her eyes. Ugh. Yeah, and what a relief that is. You've been doing a fantastic job welcoming customers in, so a break is well deserved. It's very faint in her facial movements, but she subtly smiles out of appreciation. Yes, sir! How <laughs> could you just pick me up like that more often? Too bad that you don't start. Too bad that you didn't start out like this. Make me feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile, even when I'm mindlessly chucking out hellos and pretending to be super chipper, super chipper about the holidays. Well, however you're doing it, just keep going. No reason to fix what isn't broken. Oh, look who we have here, Mr. Manager Blake with his words of encouragement. Very professional, I like it. Keep it up without acting like a complete tool and you might actually tank some, talk some sense into me. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's meant to be a compliment or insult, but I'll count it as a good thing. But I'll count it as a good thing. At least I'm making progress. Woohoo! Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> All right. She unfolds her arms and opens herself up, pleasantly smirking. Say, since you haven't seen yet, want me to show you around the cafeteria in the back? Uh, for him to show me around? That's a quick turnaround. I never thought she'd do anything for me. I'd like to see where this change of pace goes. Sure, why not? It's better to get all the details from someone who knows what they're doing. Cool. Come with me then. 
Come with me, then. Alright, I'll follow her through the no-entry doors behind the Christmas tree and down the hall towards a secured room. And we're finally here. Take a look for yourself. Take a look for yourself. Alright, as the door unlocks, I step in to find one side of the room equipped with a fridge and a countertop area stocked with an assortment of items behind a gla glass display. Behind a glass display. Behind the counter are more glass cups, utensils, kitchenware, and other cafe utensils. I mean, cafe accessories. The other side of the room serves it. The other side of the room seems more like a mini lounge area where co-workers can hang out and relax. Alright. I'm impressed. A staff room like this is quite nice. Better than what I'm used to. Rain trails past me and immediately grabs a sandwich from behind the counter. Yeah, this is all new. Newly refurbished. Newly refurbished said demanded by the one and only Jeff. God bless him for that. Couldn't stand a previous staff room. He felt like you were suffocated from how stuffy and claustrophobic it was. Rule of thumb. Never make rooms that could potentially serve as a setting for horror movies. Good thing we don't have to deal. Good thing we don't have to deal with that anymore. Of course not. Rain skips over to the table and pulls out a chair to sit as I fumble around the counter, trying to see what the cafe has in store. Are you going to sit or what? Are you going to sit or what? Trust me, I don't bite. Oh, I don't know about that. The only thing I want to bite of is this sandwich anyway. <laughs> so we can take whatever we need. You don't seem to be acting very managerly. You sure not some bad con con, con <laughs> you sure not some bad con artist or something? It's a staff room, and you're the manager! Go wild, take what you need. Hmm, okay, I'm just making sure. Without denying any more time- no. Without delaying any more time to sit with Rain, I take an arbitrary sandwich and sit across from her. At this time, we don't say much to one another aside from the occasional small talk about Christmas or how work is today. It's good to see, though, it's good to see, though, that she's cooled down a bit from how she initially reacted against me. Although she's got quite the sharp tongue, I realize she's not too harsh after all. Not so harsh after all. A little humor doesn't hurt to lighten up the mood, and with her cute look, she's literally a killer combination. I bet if I get in her good side, I'll be granted a huge return on my investment. A potential friend who will find cool comfort with. Ah! Who will find cool comfort with. Ah, yes! For the rest of the day, nothing interesting happens between Rain and me. She goes back to greeting some more while I idly watch her performance. No trouble is had, yet it feels like nothing is truly gained on my behalf. I only need the first hour to get an easy grasp on how many shoppers would come in and how to greet people without appearing awkward. Maybe tomorrow will go better. Alrighty. <laughs> As the evening approaches, I lock up and close the district, calling it a day. Alrighty. The next day I wake up and get out of bed, preparing for the morning yet again. Alrighty. Now that I've gotten the hang of it, I just start to see who's on my good side or not. Alrighty. So how long has that been? It's only been like seven minutes, eight minutes, or seven fifty. Okay. Who should I join today? Ellie or Haley? Ah yes. Ah those two. Uh, barely remember them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not too much time with them. Let's go with Ellie next. All right. No CG. Ellie thinks I could be a fun guy to hang with. Well, she's definitely a fun gal. <laughs> why would I ever pass on this opportunity to manage that? Why would I ever yeah, why would I ever pass on this opportunity to manage her work? Alrighty, let's go, fam. I head over to the food court where Ellie is situated where state yeah, where Ellie is stationed at. I go over to her, she minds her own business, sweeping the floor. At least she seems responsible enough to be doing things on her own. She suddenly notices me and skips over to my side. <clears throat> oh wow, what a surprise! You actually came over to see me, Blake. And, and to think that I was feeling lonely all this time. Hey, Ellie, how goes? But without warning, she affectionately hugs me with, like, complete skin to skin contact! <laughs> I can feel even more this time than the last! She really has no inhibitions, does she? Well, hug me for longer if you like. I'm not one to complain! Ellie finally releases her grasp and sits back to talk to me. You know, I'm not blind. I've seen you go around and check out the other girls as you work. Observing them from afar and hanging out with them or what have you. But all this time you haven't hung up with me! I don't bite, you know. It's because I'm just not as hot and attractive to you, is it? I feel like that's a trap of a question. If I say yes, then she'll for sure kill me, but if I say no, she'll probably think I have the hots for her! Well, actually, on second thought, she is really hot! <laughs> I don't think I'd be lying with a no. After all, I'll take my chances! No, that's not it, not at all! I've just been busy, and, uh... And I wanted to save the best for last! <laughs> ah, yes! That's a great save! She'll probably feel more at ease now. Booyah! Yes, indeed. Leaning forward, Ellie. Yeah, that. <coughs> Leaning forward, Ellie eagerly examines my face and questions my motives with the other girls. Oh, busy, you say? That sounds awfully suspicious, don't you think? <coughs> but it's so sweet of you to think that I'm the best. Girls nowadays don't get that kind of praise, you know, especially from a cute and understanding manager like yourself. She's practically like inches away from me! I swear, even from this distance, I would so many guys must fawn over her like there's no tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She then leans back to her former position. Would you like to make things? Yeah. Would you like to make things up to me then? Just the two of us. I'll blow the competition out of the water and make sure you won't regret it. 
Make sure you won't regret it. <laughs> I'm not sure what she means by make things up. It's if I owe her or something. In all honesty, I was only doing my job and simply decided out of, con out of coincidence to surprise Ellie's job last. But there's still Haley. Okay, whatever. It's really nothing against her or any of the other girls. I'm just trying to play my part as their manager. Hmm, an answer now would be nice. What will it be, Blake? Uh, yes, no, yeah, sure, why not? Alright, you got it. I'll uh, make it up to you. Ellie casually smiles at my reply. Good, that's what I love to hear. Oh, it'll be the best time you'll ever have. I'll let you know more details tomorrow after work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I signed up for, but I guess I'll have tomorrow to look forward to. I wonder what she'll have planned. I could definitely use a night out with someone as charismatic with as her. <laughs> she then gives me a seductive pose, teasing her breast as some foreshadowing of what's to come. <laughs> CG, no, 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 uh, CG, no, 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 CG fam. <laughs> Well, I think my eyes just melted out from staring at a voluptuous figure. How can anyone possibly look away from this? Stammering, I find the right words to say. <laughs> oh, the look on your face. You just can't wait for tomorrow. Is that it? She then returns to sweeping the floor. Got your attention now, don't I? Now you know what you're dealing with. Yeah, I guess so. Just get back to work, Kelly. <laughs> You already know what I. You already know that all I do is work, work, work. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> As Ellie continued to sweep more of the common area and clean some spills at the grotto, she hasn't exactly explained to me what she does on a daily basis. I don't know if she's honestly to be. I don't know if she's on. I don't know if she'd honestly be the right person to follow as a point person. She's rather like that person who likes to touch or feel her way through things. Hmm. Like that person who acts spontaneously on the spontaneously on the go. Spontaneously on the go. Hmm, in fact, it's probably better if I observe her up close than from afar. Chances are I'm missing out of some action, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Although it's not quite lunchtime yet, I head over to where she's standing as she hums away by the garden in the center of the common area. So, tell me, is there anything else that your job entails, aside from sweeping? Haley seems to take care of the restocking the trays and napkins and small condiments. Sally, we know, has the grotto, and rain is out front. Ellie smiles upon hearing my inquiry. Ah, uh, what a great question, Blake. What a great question, Blake. Well, you can say that I'm just a customer service support for the coof. Well, you can say that I'm just a customer service support for the food cart. She bumps my other arm with her right elbow and cutely winks. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, kind of like the wingman to that guy or girl who's sitting on some brat at a bar. You can say that I take care of all the social needs of people. <laughs> customer service? Yeah, that's probably like the best fitting job description for someone like Ellie. Great with people, funny to talk to. So, do you feel people's questions or something? To a degree, yes, but it's more or less trying to make sure that things are in order and that people aren't beating their heads over some piece of pizza or something stupid like that. What? <laughs> Who would want to do that anyway? It's just food. It's not like they're fighting over me. <laughs> or rather, fighting over you. She flirt flirtatiously gives me a wink! God, she really knows how to entice someone! That'd surely be a riot. That'd surely be a riot. I'd probably have to call security at that point, just for the girls to get their hands off you. <laughs> well, um, thanks. A compliment and an advance from her all in one swoop. That's like effective courtship right there. Ellie told totally her would be an amazing win wing win woman for anyone. So you see how easy this job is? There's not much else you need to do besides cleaning after people's messes. Yeah, it looks like it then. But that doesn't mean you should take your eyes off me. <laughs> With this level of performance work, you're sure to be amazed by what I can do. Oh, um, okay. I honestly have no clue what to say. I've never had anyone take this taking this much interest in me before, let alone appear this chip right out going. <laughs> like, what does she really see in me? There's still something that even I don't know how to discern for myself. <sighs> At her word, Ellie goes off to find someone nearby who seems to need guidance or is altogether unsure of what they're doing. I realize that her method is usually to pinpoint individuals rather than the whole family since it's easier for her. Not as many problems, not as septic than dealing with groups of people. Eh. Ellie finds a stranger teenage girl, probably around her age, and begins to have some talk, some that, and begins to have some small talk with her. Without knowing what to do, I calmly stroll to her side while still keeping my distance, trying not to interfere with her so-called performance work. I can't exactly hear what's going on between them, but it seems like she's just having fun regardless. Flaunting her hair, she briefly looks my way and gently smiles while turning back to her conversation. The other girl clearly feels that. The other girl clearly feels comfortable in the exchange too. Alrighty. It's like she's trying to show off or something. <laughs> After a few minutes, she escorts the lady over to the restaurant in question and returns to me as if she was reporting to me on how she did. <sighs> See, ten out of ten, right? It's still it's still totally easy with guys, but you already know that. Yeah, it's still totally easy with guys, but you already know that by now. Like it's common sense if you ask me. Well, yeah, good job. You've got a good sense of people for sure. I don't know if anyone would. I don't know if anyone would not. Yeah, I don't know if anyone would not like you. 
<laughs> she giggles out of appreciation. <laughs> Why, thank you, Blake. Those are some awfully sweet words from my, as you can say, very dashing manager. Well, just seeing how you are, I believe you can fare well in the fray, too. Why not try giving it a sh- Yeah. Why not try giving it a shot? Impress me a little, why don't you? <laughs> okay. Remain a reserve. Try to impress her. Oh, God! I shall try to- I shall- oh, yeah. You know what? I think this might be worth taking. I'll be able to win some points with her and get experience on the job. That's like the deal that I get nowhere else! Okay, count me in. I can do your job, no problem. I flex up my arms and snap my wrists. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a spirit. Now go get him, tiger. Yeah, I'll totally prove to you that I'm manager material! You fool! Well, here goes nothing! I'm doing her job now, aren't I? As I leave her side, I begin to scan the area for any easy targets. One who just want to ask a quick question, or the people that usually come to staff for help. Not like I need to go out of my way to make sure things are fine with everyone. I'm just here to manage, and maintaining means making sure the place is orderly. Mm hmm That's it! Full stop! But out of the corner of my eye, I spot a guy in a hoodie wandering around. He appears to be lost. Feeling confident over the fact that Ellie is watching me, I walk up to him to see whether he needs any guidance. Sir, I can't help but notice that you seem clueless over your destination. Do you need some assistance? I can direct you to where you need to go. This is some great customer service right here! If I were in issues, I'd feel so grateful that I got the help I needed! He mutters something under, uh, under his breath and glares up at me. <sighs> clueless? What does a suck-up prick like you know what I want? No, it's nothing like that. Just want to see if you need- Screw it off! With hands in his pockets, he wanders off like the scrub he is. Okay, um, yeah, screw him! <laughs> It's not like I haven't had encounters like that before, and black people are all over the map. I'll just find another one. That one didn't count. I look over to Ellie to see how she's doing. As her eyes meet, she waves with the, As her eyes meet, she waves with excitement, rooting me on. Locked eyes, if you will. Damn, just by looking at how wonderful she is. Now I really can't fail! Time for another encounter! On the prowl again, I search for another customer. This time searching for someone that's not as shady, but appears more decent and altogether friendly. Across the pizza venue, I spot a 20-something brunette woman who's slightly taller than me, wickedly gorgeous in her black dress, scrolling through some of the available culinary options on the public on the public user-friendly tablet. Ah yes, another milf. Okay, she looks like a prime target. I totally got this. I walk up to her and start my customer, ser customer service magic. Right. Hey there, I was just walking by and happened to notice that you're going through our catalog and want to make sure whether you need some help. She looks at my name tag and then glares at me. Happen to notice? Seriously? Get a clue! Do I look like I need help? Disgusted, she turns away from me and mutters something under her breath as she storms off. Men these days will do anything to get my number. How pathetic! <laughs> I thought my approach seemed okay. I scratched the back of my neck. <laughs> Maybe I'm not cut off for this after all. Veiled with discouragement, I return to Ellie, shoulders slumped with bad news in mind. <laughs> so, how did it go? Um, um, yeah, about that. I tried, Ellie, I really did, but I guess the people I want to help just don't want it. <laughs> it probably isn't enough to impress you, so that's all I got. At least you got a bit of a show, right? She smiles understandingly in a forgiving way. It may be true that you'll find some bad apples out there, but I don't know. From this vantage point, all I can see is that you weren't- No. Off from this vantage point, all I can see is that- <laughs> From this vantage point, all I can see is that you weren't- That you weren't welcoming. You didn't smile at all. You definitely didn't smile at all. Where's that cute smile of yours that the whole world should see? <laughs> I'm sure those people would instantly drop dead head over heels in how easily approachable and handsome you are. Well, I didn't think about that. You gotta smile. Oh, I gotta smile. Didn't think about that? Oh man, that's like Society 101. Good grief. Yada yada yada. This is worse than I thought. I mean, did you even introduce yourself? Ah, damn it! This is like... Is this woman like my motivational life coach or something? And I'm the one that's supposed to be managing her work. Uh, no? See this? <laughs> See, this is why you're a natural at this! I already feel so ashamed of even being tutored by my own employee! Oh, Blake, don't feel so bad. I know some people can treat others terribly, but you always had to put your best foot forward. Like, don't you remember how we met? You, like, rarely smiled at all, which made me sad. She pokes my cheek with her finger. It's not always about business, you know. Be kind and sociable. People will come to like you for who you are. Like me! <laughs> well, actually, maybe not me. I'm more like an exception. <laughs> <laughs> she leans towards me suggestively. Because, you're, because you already caught my eye before I caught yours, sweetie. I nervously lean away. <laughs> if you say so. Man, as much as I want to forget it, she's right, point for point. I have been making an effort to present myself in the friendliest way possible. I just have this ingrained thought that she, truly no one wants to be around me. I'll do better then. I know I will. It's great that you're optimistic. The more willing you are to change, the better. Just make sure not to change some of your more finer parts. <laughs> 
Okay, she sure as hell knows how to constantly tease someone. It does make me want to hang around her more, though. I look over at the clock and see that it's just struck 12. Say, it's about lunchtime. Want to take a lunch break? Her face then brightens up. Ah, would I ever? I totally love one. Perfect timing, too. We'd have some time to ourselves before the food court wouldn't get too good. We'd have some time to ourselves before the food court gets too crazed over hunger. Without notifying me, Ellie pulls my arm and leads me over to an empty set of boots in the center. Ah, here. This looks like the perfect spot. At her bidding, I quietly sit down at one end, the one with the view that overlooks the Rose Restaurant. That one, that, but that's not. At her bidding, I quietly sit down at one end, the one with the view that overlooks the row of restaurants, while Ellie takes the view of the grotto. Wait, on second thought, why are we sitting here? You know, we have our own staff room, why don't we just go there? She chuckles out of amusement and curls her purple red highlights with her index finger. Are they? <laughs> Already too scared to sit around other people? My, what are, you, what are we going to do with you? How can you be a manager when you're unwilling to be out in the open? No, no, it's not that. I was just offering a suggestion, you know? <clears throat> it just seems right that if we have a staff room, we... It just seems right that if we have a staff room, we might as well use it. Who says we have to? It's so small and boring in there. And we've got like a whole Christmas vacation with decorations and lights and even a Christmas tree over here! Sitting out here makes me... Nah, sitting out here makes for a more entertaining lunch, if you ask me. I guess she's got a point. It's, it is more heartwarming and festive where families, teenagers, young adults all smelled one massive place out from their Christmas shopping. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we'll sit out here then. I wonder what I'll be having for lunch though. So, what can I get you? A sandwich? Salad? Maybe even some of the food court food? Take your pick. All that previous talk about appearing sociable and welcoming got me thinking that I should just let myself that. Yeah. All that previous talk about appearing sociable and welcoming got me thinking that I should just let myself loose a bit. You know what? Surprise me. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. I'll make sure not to disappoint. I'll make sure not to disappoint. Ellie skips off, swaying her hips toward the staff room. I wonder what she'll get me. In the meantime, as I fiddle with my thumbs, I watch some people in line order and purchase their meals. I never found eating at the mall to be an amazing experience, but it's nice to relax and sit around with family over shopping and food. Hmm. Within, within about ten minutes or so, Ellie finally returns with a tray in hand, topped with chicken alfredo linguine, a drink, some chips, and a sandwich! Here you go, Blake. I hope you'll enjoy it. She places a tray in front of me as I'm surprised at the amount of food she's that's laid before me. Ellie sits down and grabs a sandwich from the corner. Um, did you buy all this? What happened to... This totally wasn't it was... This totally wasn't what... This totally wasn't what... <laughs> this totally wasn't what I was expecting when I said surprise me! Here, welcome. Yeah, oh, wow, um, thanks. Here, let me pay you back. She shakes her head. No, please, it's on me. You wanted me to surprise you, so here, surprise, surprise! Yeah, you really surprised me for sure. I began eating in earnest, still flabbergasted over the gift she gave me, while she delightfully munches into the side of her sandwich. Is she going to is she going to all these links just to capture my attention as her manager or something? Or is she really just this friendly? Either way, I'm grateful for her company and generosity, and she's right to believe that eating out here would be a more pleasant experience than in the staff room. With the Christmas songs playing in the background and personal givings like this, it's like I'm already getting into the spirit of the holidays. Throughout most of our lunchtime, we briefly chat in intervals between eating breaks. Between, between eating breaks. But as time flies by, the food court is suddenly at peak time, where troves of people begin swarming into the vicinity like rampant bees! <laughs> Sorry to cut things short, but we don't have much time. We need to return to work. Okay, you got it, boss. <clears throat> and so, I quickly I quickly finish my lunch and return to my post, overseeing Ellie's cleaning and customer service sp support. Get customer service support. Within minutes, more and more people are packing into the food court. Adding from a sense of urgency, I rush over to Ellie to see if she needs additional support. <clears throat> need any help? Do you have everything under control? Yeah, actually, I may need a hand cleaning the floors here. Would you mind helping me out a bit? Grab another broom and another set of cleaning supplies from the staff room closet? That's <clears throat> <clears throat> no, sorry. Would you mind helping me out a bit? Grab another broom and another set of cleaning supplies from the staff room closet? Sure thing, I'll do that right away. And so, without hesitation, I move briskly to the staff room and get the necessary supplies to do the job. Then I return to Ellie's side. Will this surprise you? I don't know what to bring, so I brought just the mop and filled up the pail. That should do that should do fine. I already got most of the other stuff on the hand anyway. If you could clean this mess over here, I'll take care of some of the tables. Alright. And so, the more than I'm with her, the less I feel like her boss. Well, I guess this is part of the learning curve. I'll hopefully have the means to do more management work later on later on. At her command, I begin to clean the floors while she's taking care of the tables, side by side, working together in tandem. To be the most efficient with my cleaning, I sweep and wash the floors like a madman on a mission. Yeah! Washing everything! Washing, 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 washing! Just gotta wash everything. Slow down there, Mr. Handyman. You don't have to be in such a rush, you know. She turns and winks at me. 
We can just we can just take it nice and easy, nice and easy. With no time to talk, however, I continue to sweep and walk in reverse, inch by inch, until my back bumps against hell. <laughs> oh, getting up close and personal, I see. <clears throat> but I move a little too far. She tips over the slippery floor and accidentally grabs me down with her. Whoa! I stumble sideways on top of her mop and hand, feeling some slightly disoriented from the fall. <laughs> Man, maybe I should have listened and not gone that hard. I look over at Ellie to find that that. that. I look over at Ellie to find that the end of the mop has lifted her shirt a bit. Her breasts are in complete view from this perspective. Oh, Mary! Oh, I just hit her! Damn, they look fine, girl! She starts coming to her senses, rubbing her temple with her hands, straining, straining to get up. Okay, so much for taking it nice and easy. Ellie then looks over to me, all snug over her legs with my mouth agape, and Sully notices her upshirt situation. She pulls herself away from me and smoothly cover and smoothly covers herself up that and smoothly covers herself, but doesn't make much of it. Guess I can't use these babies as my secret jump card anymore. <laughs> now that you've seen everything up here. <laughs> One second, I need to take a break. Thank you. Guess I can't use these babies as my secret jump card anymore. <laughs> now that you've seen everything up here. <laughs> oh well, I'll think of something else to capture your eyes with it. <laughs> no, sorry. Oh well, I'll think of something else to capture your eyes with. <laughs> then she teasingly gets up to her feet and pats herself clean as I get up alongside her. At least I got to see her goods. That's worth something. No CG though. <laughs> Without knowing what to say, I just blurt out whatever's in my mind just to cover up how awkward that, that was nevertheless. Oh well, let's just get back to work! Already on it. And so, in the end, despite that whole embarrassing- that nah, nah. In the end, despite that whole embarrassing ordeal, we eventually sweep, swept up and cleaned up other people's messes within the food court as much as we could. With the amount of work that we did and how much extra time I spent with Ellie, I'd say all in all, today was definitely a fun and good day. For the night after closing time, I lock up the Christmas district and head for home. Whew, that was long. It's finally Friday, and the weekend is almost here. I wake up early, prepare for the morning, and head over to the mall as usual. <coughs> and so, over at the district, to my surprise, I suddenly... <coughs> over at the district, to my surprise, I suddenly find a crowd of people waiting just outside the entrance for the district to open. Wait, I thought it was supposed to get busy on the weekends, not on Friday. I guess with Christmas right around the corner, people are itching to get their Christmas shopping in before the holidays come around. Indeed, Friday is always a busy day. Man, I'll need to step it up then, to make sure everything is in order. Today and this weekend are my job- No. Today and this weekend are when my job will be on the line! Alright, moving past the crowd, I slip through the rear entrance and make my way towards the food court. Make my way toward the food court. At the center table, the girls are lounging- lounging in that. At the food- Oh my god. At the center table, the girls are lounging in the same place as always. It's good to see that everyone is here early as well, anticipating the Friday rush. Okay. And there's Haley, who has not gotten any attention to- Ah, uh, Blake, another fantastic morning, isn't it? Yeah, quite a party we've got outside. It's about that time of the week. Yeah, well, we definitely have a long day ahead of us. Rain Clyde or Santa Outfit solemnly looks at me without a word to spare. This is going to be your first busy day. How do you feel? Nervous? Surprising? Surprisingly, I feel calm. I've dealt with these circumstances before, so it's not like this is foreign territory for me. Gotta sneeze! Nope, okay. I'm just not sure how things will turn out overall, since I don't know how hectic them all will get. At least I have the girls to help me out. I'm fine, really, just fine. As long as we're performing our required task and doing what we need to, we'll take we'll take care of the customers' needs, no problem. I'll just make sure that everything that nah, I'll just make sure that everything runs smoothly. Then the that nah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll just make sure that everything runs smoothly. There'll be no need to panic. Rain then burp them. Rain, rain then blurts out something sarta sarcastically. Let's hope that you won't be one. Let's hope that you won't be the one to panic. Hey, Rain. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> Blake will be Blake will be fine. I trust him. Yes, what we, need is mo nah. what we need the most is someone that knows how to steer the helm. So it's great to hear that you're willing to take charge. In fact, let's not talk. Let's not talk about our last manager. In fact, let's not talk about our last manager. He was a travesty. I I reassure you that no matter the challenge, I'll do my best. Let's see what you've got then. Still, although I'm not freaking out like I used to, the pressure is still on. The girls and eventually the customers are expecting me to make this day count. If there's any, if there's any day they'll, that, if there's any day they'll count the most, it'll be today, since the results will determine how well I can manage and work whatever shift I need to during the weekend. I look over the clock. It's almost time. Ten minutes to eleven. I'm going to have to think careful about who I want to shout and work with today. Who will I choose today? Oh God! Why would you do this? <laughs> Joyce's. Well, I got to do what Haley goes. Better like the four girls of five days in the week in the weekday, so I start on Tuesday. Tuesday? No, wait, I might. I don't know. Haley, I gotta do Haley because she didn't get any time. But oh darn, now they're throwing me for a loopity loop loop. Let me save here. <clears throat> okay, man, but I got. That's all I got for this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh jeez. 
Oh man, that's been almost like I think that was like 30 minutes or something. I was sorry for the very longness of it all. Waiting for a CG that never happened. <laughs> Did I do it right? I think I might have done it wrong by choosing uh, LA before Haley. I'm not sure. Maybe I have no idea to be honest. Really, not sure. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, nonetheless, it should be fine. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sorry for messing up a couple times. <laughs> but yes, Santa Girls fam, I'm enjoying it. We're gonna do the Haley route, I guess, because she hasn't gotten any time to herself yet. So we're gonna take care of that next time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please like below. And if there's any other game below, play, you want to talk to the comment below as well. If you like this, like this more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be epically appreciative, guys. And as always, my name is Jerry and my goal is to make you guys smile. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. See ya. What's gonna happen next time? We're gonna go with the waifu Haley and the Friday rush is happening. We have to go with the waifu Haley, but I don't know. What about everybody else? Do everybody get a CG? I don't know. We're just gonna stick with the waifu Haley next time. Find out how the rush goes next time on Santa Girls. Ah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah. Bye.